Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm just looking at the same magazine from yesterday. Mm -hmm. You know, magazine subscriptions are so important to a lot of publishers. Yes. But foodandwine.com is spelled as always one word. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, as I remember it, the Queen of England liked to know uh, who the subscribers are to magazines. Yeah. Could you get me the magazine subscriptions throughout the world and all of those that signed, a, or maybe a little card or filled out one of these brochures that said, well, I'd like to have a one-year or two-year subscription to a magazine. Now, um, I'm sure this is a really good magazine. Yes. <laughs> But when you have as much restitution as I have, and you can prove in court that there was no reason to arrest me, mm -hmm. and that uh, the whole thought of me being mentally incompetent, you know, appealing the dismissals mm -hmm, will help in increasing the amount of restitution I get. Mm -hmm. Now, I told you that I wanted my sons, and you said no. Mm -hmm. We're just going to make up crimes that there is no actual evidence, right? It's all fabricated. Mm -hmm. So as to obstruct me from suing you for the restitution? Yes. Now, I'd just like to know the magazine subscriptions of every oath of office. Yes. Mm -hmm. Every attorney, every civil rights coordinator, and all of those mm -hmm. that are legally or professionally liable for the enforcement of the laws. Mm -hmm. Now, I realize the importance of magazines, <laughs> and I realize the importance of you having to sign an actual um, subscription. Yes. In fact, give me the, the auto withdrawals from your bank accounts. Yes. Now, there's this thought. Yes. As soon as you plead with the prosecuting attorney that you recognize the criminal conspiracy, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The solicitation, mm -hmm. the criminal at attempt, yes, mm -hmm. the intent to violate my civil rights because you were promised X amount of money, yep. Yeah. I would say that you won't be needing those magazine subscriptions. <laughs> now, uh, RCW 9A.20.040, yes. Prosecutions related to felonies to find outside of Title Nine A uh, RCW. Mm. I realize these are state laws, and a lot of these color of law violations are actual federal laws. The U.S. Code. Yes. <laughs> Let's say you were found guilty in federal court and oops, in state court. P -p -p -p. Now, uh, if the maximum sentence of imprisonment authorized uh, by law. Upon conviction or pleading, yes, mm -hmm. of such felony is 20 years or more, such felony shall be treated as a Class A felony. Mm -hmm. Now, if you read through these, you can get a fine and you can get prison sentences, yes. And then the alternative to the fine is double the amount known as restitution. Mm -hmm. Now, I know the FBI said they're too busy to prosecute any of you that are in office, yes. But let's say I sued the FBI, each and every one of their special agents, because <laughs> I emailed them thousands of times about my sons being taken from me. Yes. Without actual notice of hearing. Yes. There was no notice of hearing. Now, it's nice that my wife said that she sent it in the mail. Yeah. <laughs> but the truth of the matter is, without actual proof of notice to the respondent, I never got notice of the actual court hearings. Now, a criminal attempt, yes. Mm -hmm. And then uh, there's criminal solicitation, yes. Then there's criminal conspiracy. And then you have the federal laws. Mm -hmm. Now, I had interpreted these laws as being something outside of the Title Nine A RCW, yes. Prosecutor related to felonies defined outside of 9A RCW. Now, the only thing I could think of would be the, 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 the federal prosecution of the United States Code. Yes, that would make it a crime to deprive any American citizen of their rights. Mm -hmm. 
Now, I think it's really important because when I was reading through this, yes, I had retitled it RS um, because for some reason my phone wasn't working. Yeah. Now there's the Gerstein versus Pew. Yes. Mm -hmm. There's the Brady. Uh huh. And then looking at the Jenke, that has to do with um, what has to be provided um, pre trial or during the trial of the defendant. Seems that you could say that I needed a 1077 without any actual evidence, right? Without the prosecuting attorney or law enforcement admitting the evidence that I wasn't there. Yes. And I wasn't cyber stalking. Oh. And then there was no Gerstein because there's no probable cause since I was in Port Angeles. Yes. I wasn't in Squim and I wasn't in Brennan. Mm -hmm. And it's it's no probable cause of cyber stalking when you don't actually email the Brennan or Quilcene school districts. Mm. Now, I've emailed approximately 600 uh, civil rights coordinators and school districts throughout the state of Washington. Yes, with the actual evidence that my sons are in the wrong grades, that they're being abused, mm -hmm. maltreated, yes, mm -hmm. neglected, hope. Now, uh, several individual factors have emerged as potential moderators of child abuse exposure, including gender, age, and disability status. <laughs> gender appears to be a risk factor for child abuse and neglect generally. <laughs> child abuse and neglect cases reported to Child Protective Services. <laughs> I've reported this child abuse uh -huh, to Child Protective Services, each and every individual employed in CPS, <laughs> that said that I couldn't sue them for criminal conspiracy. Ooh. Now, um, Across the nation are more likely to involve girls than boys. Mm -hmm. However, researchers asking adult victims for retrospective reports using specific behavior items have demonstrated striking differences in occurrence rates uh, within abuse types and abuse characteristics by gender. Now, um, these studies that have been done, yes, mm -hmm. as a father, I really think I should have custody of them. They have witnessed uh, see, maltreatment, neglect, and witnessing violence that occurred before the victim's 19th birthday. <laughs> now, knowing that my sons, Zachary and Bishop, won't graduate until after their 19th birthday, yes, approximately 19 and a half years old, <laughs> should they really have to stay in the same high school for the next two years so they can continually be uh, maltreated, yes, neglected, <laughs> and witnessing the violence ouch, of obstructing their rights and mine. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, what do we know? <laughs> In this section, we review individual, parental, and familiar, and environmental and social network characteristics <laughs> that appear to contribute to child abuse rates, yes, <laughs> a better understanding of the risks and protective factors that contributed to child ab childhood maltreatment may guide researchers and service providers seeking to prevent future abuse. Mm. Now, let's say that you're a researcher, you're a service provider, and you feel an obligation to prevent future abuse of other children because of your uh, enforcement of their parenting rights. Yes, <laughs> I know, but... Witnessing violence that occurred before the 19th birthday. <laughs> now, you would think being an adult as a junior in high school, yes, <laughs> that would have been good enough. But no, you have to wait until they're seniors. Huh? Oh. Now, what if I went to suing you today, Ooch. that they had to witness all this violence against myself, Ooch. because you thought putting me in a mental institution would obstruct me from getting restitution for all the times that I did not receive actual notice of court hearings. <laughs> now, this restitution <laughs> that involves my losses and your gains, <laughs> my losses are adding up each and every day, and... I didn't get a phone call from my sons. I'm going to have to add some restitution. Now, did you want to have a plea agreement with the prosecuting attorney from any federal court? Yes. Or state court? Yes. Where you agreed? Yes. That you'll go to prison and give me everything that you'll ever own. <laughs> now, for all of those that are oaths, that thought, well, 
he can't take everything I own unless otherwise specified the term child maltreatment and child abuse referred to childhood physical, sexual, psychological, and emotional abuse. Witnessing violence and neglect will be referred specifically when included in findings. <laughs> now, I, I talked to you about the emotional abuse of depriving them of their father. <laughs> when I did not receive actual notice of court hearings in 2011. <laughs> when I didn't receive actual notice of court hearings during the dissolution of marriage. <laughs> Then there's the psychological abuse. It could be very mentally draining on my sons to have to go through this every day. 